Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back in the New York room after my little hiatus. If you noticed, maybe you haven't noticed, maybe I'll tell you anyway, uh, I moved. So when all my stuff was packed in boxes and I had to do adult stuff, I didn't really have time to make YouTube videos. Even the time that I did, I was oh, absolutely exhausted, didn't want any part of that. <laughs> But here we are, I'm settled in, I'm back, and I'm ready to start making fun of the internet once again. Now, a couple of days ago, I came across this account. Now, you might know who this person is, but for those of you who don't know, let's, let's have an educational journey, shall we? I found this decorated character on YouTube called Sebastian Bruh. Bales. Now, Sebastian Bales, uh, he's a musically slash TikTok megastar, and believe it or not, he actually comes from a very famous line of famous TikTokers, because Daniel Cohen, you know, this, this girl, this girl, that is his sister. So apparently he's standing in front of the camera and lip syncing really bad to really, really terrible, terrible songs, runs in the family. And these two do it really well. Yeah, they do it really well. And after his Musical.ly and TikTok career took off, Sebastian made the inevitable journey to becoming a YouTuber. In some ways, he is just a regular 19 year old making a uh, clickbaity content misleading viewers, and just making really awful, cringy material. Now, before people chime in and say, hey, relax, dude, he's just a kid, he's 19, okay? Let him do his thing. You can do your thing all you want, okay? That's perfectly fine. Uh, but the lines between being a kid and being an adult that hangs out outside a playground are very, very blurry. And on YouTube, these lines get all too blurry to the point where I'm starting to worry about the children of the internet. Sebastian Bale's content includes, but is not limited to, uh, appearing shirtless on a live stream with uh, underage children, okay? Yeah, I know, that's a bit weird. I mean, that's not something that an adult should be doing, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're right. You're in the right. Don't worry about it. It's very weird. A loves to just make the absolute classic clickbaity content. Bruh, like, oh, bruh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have sex with my sister, check it out. Or I, I ran my mum over with the car, check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ba bang, ba bang. Sound effect, sound effect, sound effect. Ah! So overall, he is a joy to behold. And we're gonna check out some of his content right now. All right, so I really had to backtrack for this one. It, the video is titled, how all my hair fell out. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to find out why your hair fell out. That's that's very weird for something like that to just happen like that. So please, indulge me. What happened? So in this video, he discusses being really bored and what he wanted to do to pass the time while he was bored was dye his hair. You can see people dyeing their hair on YouTube any day of the week, so it's not really can't miss content. But that's, that's where you're wrong. Oh boy. Just start from the back. Okay. And I'm just gonna... Blend it into your other hair. How long are we gonna leave this on? A while. No. Yeah, because I want to lift as much color as I can. <laughs> I spontaneously decided to do this, and it's probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made. <laughs> Here we are. At least this is a lot better than Danny. Danny was just slapping it on, like she was getting on my neck, and I was like, "You're it's eating away at my neck," and she's like, "It's fine." She's kind of new to using her brain. <laughs> we love her. She's, love her. This is not as painful as Danny's. I was screaming when Danny was doing it. Like, that's oh. how painful it was. Let's hope I don't die. It's so itchy. Usually when you dye your hair, you, you dye it, you let it sit for a bit, you maybe wash it off, you go have a sleep, you wake up and you look at your brand new head of hair. That's what Sebastian did and um, hmm. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe what happened. I just got out of the shower. And I was I, I was washing my hair, and it like felt so weird. So after thirty seconds of really really unnecessary close ups of his nipples and his chest, uh, we get the grand reveal that bum bum ba oh my god Sebastian has lost all his hair what? And his reaction is the same reaction that any normal human being would have. No, no, no. No! And oh my god, guys, he has just found out he has lost all his hair. And how would you react? Would you grab at your head, wondering where all the hair went? Or would you just continue to hold the camera and uh, do this with your hands here, here, and here? 
And then the rest of the video just continues to be the worst acting ever seen on this platform. He's continually going, no, no, no. And please ignore the fact that you can see the swimming cap just tucked behind his ear. That's a pointless detail that we don't need to get into in this video. This is definitely not fake if that's what you're implying. This man lost all his hair, okay? So have a bit of respect. And uh, he goes into the other room and he tells uh, whoever is there, look, Oh, I lost all my hair! They're like, what happened? And he's like, oh, I bleached my hair! What happened to you? You're joking with me. You're trying to prank me. No! No, Danny! I washed out the bleach and I felt my hair. It felt weird. And we're also going to ignore the fact that in the very next video that he posted, he had a full head of hair. Wow. The wigs that they make these days are absolutely incredible. You can get human hair, horse hair, uh... Hair, wig hair. Now, this was the first video that made me think, hmm, this guy is not very good. It's titled, I bought a $150,000 mystery box from eBay. Hmm, where was this guy when people were investigating all the mystery box scams, huh? Hmm, funny about that. Let's just let's see what comes up. Okay, let's go up to the most expensive $7.99, $5,000. They say, if you like surprises and mysteries, then you must try this. Many items with big values. Because big value depends on the person. One man's trash is another man's treasure, if you feel what I mean. Like, oh my, 150,000. I would definitely buy that. But there's, this like has to be fake. I found the one that I'm going to buy. It's literally a picture of a mystery box, just dead ass, just mystery box. So I have no idea what's in it. So this video is pretty self-explanatory. Goes on eBay, he buys a mystery box. One really, really important fact of this video, um, he claimed that the mystery box was worth $150,000. Uh, despite the fact that during the checkout process of purchasing the box, we actually see the price and the price was $6,805.14. Didn't even bother to try blur it out or anything like that. I was, I, I was like, okay, that's stupid. So I don't have like a knife or anything. Let me use my keys right here. <sighs> oh my god, my anxiety. Oh, it's because it's like the unknown. I have no way. I'm really scared. Like, I don't know who even put this together. I don't know what kinds of germs they had. Like, how do I even open this? Oh, I hate that sound. I'm so scared. Like, I'm really scared. Oh god, why did they make it so freaking hard to open. Oh my gosh. This is like Christmas when you're opening up a gift. Oh my God, okay. <gasps> okay, I'm scared. I don't even want to look in there. This is so weird, ew. So he goes through to open the box and he gets everything in the box that you would expect out of a $6,000 mystery box. You get everything you could possibly want. You get incense, uh, you get some foot patches, uh, you get a, a shoe, uh, not two shoes, one shoe, uh, not a male shoe either, a female's high heel. Just one of them, okay? Just one, you don't need two, just one. Uh, you get some hair extensions, uh, you get like a, a dirty lint roller, you get everything you could possibly dream of all in one really, really shuttily taped up box, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Sebastian ordered a box, took out the real content, filled it with junk, taped it back up, opened it up on video and claimed that was the actual box that he bought. I'm not gonna say that because that would be slander. Well, this is the face of a dumbass who wasted way too much money on trash. And then that's it. It's just a box full of junk. And at the end of the video, he's like, mm, was that a bad decision? Yeah. Am I gonna do it again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. This guy is actually awful. Now, next up is the video that I watched straight up when I searched this guy on YouTube. It was his latest video and it's an absolute doozy. It is titled, Destroying My Little Sister's James Charles Palette. Now, if I know James Charles Palettes well enough, I know that they're very expensive, uh, they're very exclusive, and every little girl on the freaking planet wants one. What Sebastian Bales did, he went out and he bought his sister Daniel Cohen a lovely James Charles palette. Oh, that's great. Family love is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> no, because he, he did so with the intention of smashing it. <laughs> this video did very well for him. Uh, he got a lot of subs, he got over a million views. So there you go, kids, moral of the story. Uh, destroy expensive stuff on camera. 
and the subs and the views will follow. So my favorite part of this video is the fact that he filmed the first half of the video with the camera completely out of focus. It looks awful. It looks so bad. He looks like a deep fried meme. Like just take a look at that. Like the combination of the orange skin and the silver hair and just the blurry, <laughs> the, the blurry image. It looks like a deep fried meme. Oh my God, I am living for it. And he said he didn't have time to refilm it either. So it's like, it's an intro. It takes three, four minutes. Just film it again, bruh. But no, he opted to make himself look like the dankest meme of 2019. Oh wow. Today we are going to be breaking Danielle Cohn's James Charles palette. This just goes like every other prank video basically. He lures his sister into that false sense of security. He's like, hey bro, here's your palette, you enjoy. Then when she's going to get ready to use the palette and shoot like a couple of TikToks or whatever, he goes in the bathroom, smashes it with the hammer, and then she's like, oh, why'd you do that? Why did you do that? She ends up running down the street and he's like, oh, I feel bad. And then at the end of the day, it's revealed that he bought like another one. So he bought two palettes, one for the prank and then one to actually give to her. So I'm like, eh, oh, all right, that's not too bad. But people online were freaking out about this. They were like, oh, I waited in line so long to get a James Charles palette and I didn't get one. So you buy two and you smash one just for a stupid YouTube video. And then he's like, uh, yeah, I'm making bank on this video, brah. What do you expect? Oh. So that video is not the worst video he's ever done, not by any stretch of the imagination. But what this does mean is this video got him a lot more exposure than he originally had. So that makes me think that he's gonna keep gaining subs and gaining views, and by doing so, he's gonna make more videos to make more money, and by doing so, we're gonna have more content to make fun of him of, which I cannot wait for. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's it, first video in the new house, done and dusted. It's really hot in here. I don't have AC, it's really hot. I cannot explain to you how much I'm sweating, how much I'm suffering for the art, for my viewers, for you. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you slap a like on the vid, leave a comment down below. What do you think of Sebastian Bale? Do you think he's just a harmless 19-year-old uh, idiot on YouTube? Or do you think he is a bit of a freak and should go away forever? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. That's all I've got time for today, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ah, dizzy. Yep, bad idea.